not all slow flows are the same from brand to brand. Not all level ones are the same. Not all zero to three months are the same. Pick the slowest flow to start with in the system that you would like to start with and watch your baby. Signs that you've got the right flow rate for your baby's feeding skills. They're pretty content and relaxed during feeding. They seem to finish a feeding, come off and be satisfied in a reasonable amount of time. That's like under 30 minutes for a newborn. They're nice and coordinated. How do you know you need to move to a faster flow? If you just go by what the manufacturers put on the bottle for the age that you should be moving up? Well, not necessarily. Signs that your baby might need a faster flow are things like becoming frustrated with the bottle, being done with the feeding before you know your baby is typically satisfied because it's frustrating for them. It's taking too long for the liquid to come out of the bottle. Now, these can all be signs of other things too. So this is not such a simple decision. What if you try a faster flow and it's too hard for your baby? What are the signs that the faster flow is too fast? Well, your baby might be coughing. They might be losing Lots of liquid out of their mouth although that can happen with transition to a faster flow as babies get used to it and start to coordinate and adjust their motor patterns but if your baby comes off a lot starts arching away starts just getting really uncoordinated during the feeding that might be a sign that the flow rate is too fast so can you just keep your baby on the slowest flow for the entire time that they're on the bottle sure you can the bottom line here is you have to watch your baby and if you are confused or having a hard time making this decision, talk to your pediatrician and meet with a feeding expert who can help you interpret all of these different things that you might be seeing and make the right decision for your baby.